Welcome everyone to the first fishing outing of the ice fishing season here in the end of 2022. It's the day after Christmas and we're excited to see what we can do. First thing we did once we safely got out on the ice was punch a hole, check for ice thickness. We had six inches so it was time to go and we start drilling our grid pattern. We do this so we can track where we've been catching fish and so we can come back and do it again later. We drilled 13 holes and we're focusing on the ledge and the main lake basin. All right, we're going to be using wax worms today. They look pretty good in the store. We're going to be using a little tungsten jig. I had a fire tiger colored one in. I also got a yellow and white. Oh, yes. Got him. Ooh, something pretty big. Yes, we got one. Bluegill. Sweet. There we go. Back down the hole she goes. Let's get another one. Oh, fish on. Ooh. Oh. This is different. Transducer out for this guy. We might have a bass. <laughs> We've got drag pulling action going on here. Oh, yeah, it's his bass. Yes. <laughs> yes, we got a bass, baby. Woo, that's a good one. Let's get a measurement on this fella. She's just about 14 inches. Beautiful fish. Hey guys, here's the fishing joke of the day. How much fishing tackle can a man accumulate before his wife throws him out? I don't know, but I think I might be getting close. Ha ha ha, back to the action. I might have a fish on the scope. All right, so I just wanted to give a brief overview on the Garmin Striker 4 setup that we were using. So this is the portable kit. Um, you can get it at Cabela's Bass Pro Shop several places. It's under $200. It's a very affordable package to get you out on the ice fishing with electronics. Um, we're electronic novice. We really didn't want to spend a bunch of money, so this seemed to be the perfect kit, and it was helping us catch fish. So... What we're using here is the traditional screen on ultra scroll, which means it's moving as fast as it can or re-scrolling or re-scanning everything as fast as it can, along with the A-scope. Now to get to these settings, you hit the menu button, these three bars here, while you're in that setup. And so the first thing, the sonar setup down here on the bottom, you're going to hit enter there. So here, this scroll speed setting, if you click there, you see ultra scroll, fast, medium, slow, auto. And with ultra slow, ultra, ultra scroll is what's suggested for ice fishing because it shows that history as fast as it can and also keeps up with your bait jigging up and down. So the next thing on sonar setup, you click in, is the noise reject. And I have turned off surface noise. Surface noise is just stuff in the way up on the top of the screen. And I don't like seeing that, so I turned that to off. And I thought that was a very helpful feature. The final setting, which is how to turn the A-scope on. Again, hit the menu button. You're going to go down to appearance. Click. And then toggle A-scope on. lift up. All together, the A scope plus the hyper scroll screen, um, the traditional blue and red coloration um, showing red as the hard subject matter, allowed us to focus on bringing our bait up and down and also noticing those fish coming off the bottom. 
and striking our bait. So we thought this was a number way of using a very affordable, portable kit, yes, ice sir. fishing, and okay, getting yeah. the best bang for our buck. Woohoo! Yes! Show them off to the camera, bud. Grab them by the hand and hold them up close so you can Check get a good picture. Check that out. Let's just go. Let's take a moment to look through what we're doing here today. We're using a Beaver Dam 26 inch glass noodle rod. Got a little Fluger 2000 series reel. And this awesome Fire Tiger tungsten with, tipped with a beam off. Let's see what we can get going again. The third fish of the day. Pretty, pretty hot start for first ice. Yeah, you got him, bud. Yes! You got it. Oh, man, you were too slow. Got him. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yes. <laughs> They're just coming in. They're just coming in, Reese. They're like, no, no, don't leave, don't leave. <laughs> Love this. Thank you for watching this video. We had a blast out on First Ice. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun using the electronics, getting used to them, working through the settings to find what worked best. That's why we wanted to share with you today what we were able to do and how we were able to harness those. The other thing that was kind of different um, when we were out is that when we first started using the sonar device, we had to turn the gain up to see stuff. And by the time we were done, we had to turn the gain back down. It was almost like the, the whole machine needed some time to wake up. And so that was kind of interesting. And also the gain needs to be turned down um, when you're in shallower water versus deeper water. So those were a couple different things that we noticed just by a few clicks one way or the other were optimizations for making sure you were just seeing the bait and the fish and nothing else. Um, we had a blast though. We caught fish, we had action. We were able to move between holes a lot faster um, than we were just using the traditional bump it off the bottom, lift up, lift up. Um, you almost had to be way more patient or just assume that you were going to each hole, trying it three times and going around. Um, but the electronics allowed us to find the places that had fish and keep on routing our way around those spots. So on the map that we shared were the holes where we got action and what we did after we got action, we would just work our way through those holes and start from the beginning again. And so we'd usually get one or two at each spot until we find that, that final spot at the end of the day where we just stayed in the one hole and it was just fish after fish after fish, which is just magical. So thanks again like this video we'd love to see 10 20 30 likes with this and with your help you can help us get there drop us a comment we'd love to talk to you more about ice fishing or about the channel and subscribe and be part of the dad life fishing adventure and reese life dad life family so with that thank you so much and we will see you next time out on the water um guys i hope you enjoyed this um day out here on the water um